Voyager 1 is one of humanity's shining monuments. Traveling billions of miles along with its sister probe Voyager 2, it stands as a culmination of thousands of years of human achievements and progress. But the sky it explores is threatened here on Earth because of light pollution. The heritage of the sky that we all once shared is quite literally fading into the night. Even beyond the loss of this shared heritage, light pollution brings adverse problems in health, crime, and ecology. But this ecological problem is a simple fix in comparison to others we are facing, and it is something we can all work to, work to fix easily. First, let's talk about the problems. Only a third out of the world's population can see the Milky Way in our skies above. 5 billion of the 7.5 billion people can no longer see the band of stars that make up our own galaxy. This extends to 80% of North Americans and 60% of Europeans. This is a loss of something that has been with humanity since we first evolved in Africa. The sky has led us across continents, oceans, and into depths of space. The sky has inspired countless artists, authors, scientists, and engineers. In 1994, when a magnitude 6.7 earthquake took out power in Los Angeles during the early morning hours, citizens of the city walked out into the streets and, without lights, the brilliance of the Milky Way shone in the sky. It has been reported that calls to observatories were made by people worried about the strange illuminated clouds in the sky. What does it say? The feature that defined the night sky for most of humanity's existence can no longer be seen or even recognized by a large amount of people. Not being able to view the stars may seem trivial, but it has global effects. The sun is the center of our universe, but life continues when the sun goes down. Animals, birds, and reptiles alike all rely on 24-hour days. Animals eat and migrate at night. Sea turtles lay their eggs on beaches at night. But now that the night is turning to day, these creatures can no longer tell when is night and when is day. These delicate ecosystems that rely on the natural balance of the ecosystems are, being more, are becoming more and more erratic. Light during the night can also affect humans. Glare from street lights can cause disability glare that causes drivers to see only the light casting everything else into invisibility. Criminals can also use light at night to hide. By standing behind a light, the person becomes invisible, allowing for an increase in crime. The biggest problem for human health, however, is human cycles. Human circadian rhythm is a human's natural 24-hour cycle. Now with light pollution, the cycle is being impeached. Instead of rising with the sun and going to bed with the sun, people can wake up whenever they want, messing with the human cycles. Light also messes with the melatonin levels in the human body that regulates hormones. Pollution is often a daunting task to tackle, as it may seem bigger than any one person to fix or even begin to stop. Light pollution is, and if everyone does their part, then someday soon we'll be able to glance up at the night sky and be able to marvel at its beauty. So how do you fix it? Just do a couple of easy things. First, at night, keep your curtain close if your light's on. This stops light from leaking out into the night sky. Check to see if you can get the outdoor lighting can be turned off. Put a motion sensor and make sure it is angled down. There are special light bulbs that can be purchased that are low glare for your outside lights. Follow these simple steps and light pollution has met its match. Voyager 1 flew out of the solar system and turned its camera inwards towards Earth and took a picture that shows our planet as a pale blue dot in the, dark, in the darkness of space. Carl Sagan wrote in his book that was aptly named Pale Blue Dot and later vocalized, Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, Everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. Looking at that picture gives humanity a cosmic perspective. A perspective that can also be achieved on dark and stormy nights under the Milky Way. But since electric lighting has become common around our cities and towns, we have lost as part of our shared heritage. <laughs>